Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like my videos, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel. In this video, I want to discuss about universal Turing machine. Okay. Now till now we have discussed about the Turing machine. We have constructed Turing machine for performing unary addition, unary subtraction, unary multiplication, unary division, all these things we have discussed. Now each Turing machine is doing a single task. Now if I want to design a Turing machine such a way that it will perform all the tasks, then we will say that it is a universal Turing machine. So this one we will call it as a universal Turing machine which consists of a finite control unit and we will have a three tapes. So what are the Turing machine you wanted? Suppose let's say that you are designed a Turing machine for performing unary addition. That Turing machine you will represent in the tape 1 and the input for that Turing machine like you have to perform unary addition. So that input you will store it in the tape 2 and the internal state let's take that you are in the Q0, you are looking at the input alphabet something and you are going something. So you will have the internal state Q0, Q0 or Q5 anything, any internal state Currently you are in some state, from that state by looking at the tape alphabets you are going to somewhere. So where is that state? Suppose let's take that you are in Q5 state and you are looking at the input alphabet or tape alphabet A, then you are going something. So the internal state is Q5. So it will have the internal state and tape 2 will have the input and tape 1 will have the representation of the Turing machine. Now you can ask me, sir, how can we represent a Turing machine? Every Turing machine will have certain states like Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 will be there. Am I right? And it will have the tape alphabets. Let's take that A, B, C, X, Y. These are the tape alphabets are there. Okay. And these are the states. Okay. These are the states are there. And these are the tape alphabets are there, okay? And we will have the transition function, am I right? Or the transition rules are there. If you take any Turing machine, it will have three things basically. One is the set of states and the tape alphabets because tape alphabets will consist of the input alphabets also, okay? And you have even the blank symbol also is there and you have the transition rules because we can represent the Turing machine with the transition rules. So now how I will represent the states in the Turing machine because we can represent either ones or zero something only we can store but we cannot store Q0, Q1 like this. So what I will do is that I will perform the encoding operation. So what I will do is that let's take that I will assume. See this is my assumption only. Q0 I will encode it as 1. Okay. And Q1 I will encode it as 1 1 okay q2 i will encode it as 1 1 1 and q3 i will encode it as 1 1 1 so whenever i want to represent q0 i will encode it as 1 whenever i want to represent q1 i will represent as 1 1 if i want to represent q2 i will represent using 1 1 1 1 similarly the alphabets alphabets also for a I will represent using 1, some encoding and B I will encode it as 2, X I will encode it as 3 ones and Y I will encode it as 4 ones. Okay. Similarly, what else will be there? Left and right operations are there. Am I right or wrong? Because on a tape by looking at some alphabet, either you can move left or you can move right. Okay. If it is left, I will encode it as 1. If it is right, I will encode it as 2. Are you able to understand? Now, I want to represent a transition. Okay, what is the transition is, let's take that Q2, I am in some state Q2. So, internal state is Q2. Okay, I am in state Q2. I am looking at the tape alphabet A. Okay, I am going to a state Q3. Let's take it. Okay. I am making it as a B and I am moving to the left. Let's take that. Okay. This is a one transition rule. 
okay in a turing machine i am in state q2 i am looking at the tape alphabet a i am going to a state q3 and i am modifying it a as a b that is what this operation and i am moving to the left so how i will represent this transition in a tape now please watch it you are in q2 so how q2 state can be represented as three ones so represent three ones and you should delimit it because all are in the form of ones only so for each one q2 and then a you should separate so we'll use a delimiter zero okay so zero will act as a separator now you have in looking at the tape alphabet a what is the encoding for tape alphabet a is one so one will be there so it will be represented like this now it is going to a state q3 okay q3 which will be having a separated zero and q3 will be represented as four ones okay the tape will consist of four ones and then a delimiter zero will be there okay and b b how i will represent one one okay let's take it this one and left left means again zero and one are you able to understand so this is the way we will represent a any transition or any turing machine like this in tape so we will encode each operation like state we will encode alphabets we will encode in some format left and right moves also we will encode all these things and each one we will have a separator like a delimiter will be there so q2 we will represent or we will encode it and then we will have a delimiter or a separator and then a encode it a like that we will store it so we can represent a turing machine in a tape so if you have a finite control unit and a representation of a turing machine in one of the tape and input for that one is in the another tape and the internal states are there in another tape such kind of turing machine we will call it as a universal turing machine if i want to perform subtraction in place of this representation of turing machine for addition i will represent here as a subtraction so that it will perform the subtraction are you able to understand it or not so i hope you have understood what is a universal turing machine and how can you represent a, uni a turing machine inside a uni one tape okay and how can we perform the encoding operation so if you still have any doubts with this topic feel free to ask it in the comment session i will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day